Welcome to Daily Headlines, your fastest news reporter. Please subscribe and check the notification bell to get latest news updated we over the weekend. Hundreds of white supremacists and neo-Nazis descended on America Charlottesville, Virginia. The United it's time we the stop right acting rally like quickly this. erupted in violence and ended All right. when, Not allegedly, sure. a white supremacist blowed through a crowd of counter-protesters with his car, and leaving Susan one woman dead and many others seriously injured. We'll debate it next. For and Fox News Jesse guys, Waters, this seemed like the perfect time to argue that racism isn't a big problem in America. On Sunday's edition of Waters World, the eponymous host launched into a lengthy argument defending Trump's silence on the white supremacists. Waters claimed the president was simply looking at this from a big picture perspective in the large context of hatred in America. According to Waters, Trump was under no obligation to call out white supremacists, even after a woman was murdered, because the bigger problem is left-wing radicals who have terrorized this country. In the end, Waters believes, this is much ado about nothing. America is not a racist nation, it's time we stop acting like it is, he concludes. Waters then looks at his teleprompter, pauses awkwardly and takes a deep breath. Not sure what we are going to do next, but we have a great show, Waters says, almost to himself. He then introduces two segments attacking African Americans and playing off racial stereotyping. The first segment accuses Congresswoman Maxine Waters and former National Security Advisor Susan Rice of siding with a North Korea dictator. He then plays footage for the next statement, over grainy footage of young black men swearing. Waters says that segment is about guys with guns threatening President Trump over food stamps. Waters, who rose to prominence on Fox as Bill O'Reilly's protege, garnered criticism last year for a racist segment in New York City's Chinatown, which included virtually every imaginable stereotype of Asian Americans. A few months later, he was promoted and given his own show.